What's good boys and welcome back to my channel. Today is another amazing episode. It's been a while. I've been away for a long time. I hope you guys had a brilliant Christmas, a fantastic new year. And yeah, today we're going to review the middle Garincha. I know there is a Prime out now, but I recorded all the gameplay for these icons that I've got coming out before the Prime's release. So I'll have some baby ones, middle ones coming out. But then I also have the big ones, the Prime ones coming out and also some team of the year players because tomorrow is when the team of the year drops. So hopefully we can bag ourselves a couple of those players. But before we get into today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below, you subscribe and today's question of the day to be featured on the, the video over here is going to be who do you want from the team of the year what player do you want from team of the year to pack or to play with who do you want the most Lewandowski, Mbappe, Ronaldo I think there's, I've seen a few leaks but I don't know which ones are confirmed of who's actually going to be in it but there's Ronaldo, Mbappe, Lewandowski, Messi, uh, who else Van Dijk I saw De Litt in a couple of them Trent, Alexander-Arnold uh, there's, there's a few players in there that are Useful. I mean, personally, for me, I'd love to try out a Lewandowski team of the season or a team of the year because I've used his uh, Champions League one and that was absolutely outstanding. And he won't be too expensive as well. He'd probably be about 1.52 max after the, his price drops down a bit after a few few weeks. And yeah, he'd probably be one of the best players to use. But anyway, we're here to review one man and one man only, and that is Garincha. Now, his card looks absolutely outstanding. It looks like it suits the game to a T. Now, I've scored a few goals with him, got a couple of assists with him, but I noticed one thing off the start. This guy is incredibly quick. Very short, so he suits the meta. Same height as Messi, believe, or one inch smaller. But he's got great work rates if you play him forward. I mean, medium low. At least he doesn't defend. If you put him on getting behind and stay forward, he will do so because he's got that low uh, defensive work rate. Four-star weak foot, which is brilliant. Five-star skill, which I love personally. I would. I know a few other people prefer a five-star weak foot, four-star skill, but I love having that five-star skill because I like to do the elasticos and the elastical chops, etc. His stats in game, when you're going to look at them, look incredible across the board. Attacking-wise, especially his passing is up there with some of the best players in the game. Dribbling, same as that. And if you put the right chemistry style, you could up this guy to even even more incredible player. He's got outstanding pace on him, good finishing, good shooting, great passing, great uh, dribbling, high stamina as well, which is great because that means that he'll finish the game for you with a high stamina and you won't have to sub him off, hopefully. I know a lot of people will probably use this guy in a camp position like a left cam or right cam in a 4-2-3-1 when they go into weekend league, which I, I did as well. I also put him at the middle camp position for a few games just to see how he would play behind the striker and he did outstandingly well there as well. And he was just one of those players that felt incredibly meta. But well, for us, I think that's enough talking. So what we're going to do is, but you know this is the Is He Worth It episode and it's an Is He Worth It series. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some gameplay, some commentary over it just to show you guys how he played in the game. Then we're going to go into, like, at the end, we're going to come back and we're going to see whether or not he's worth the coins that he's currently going for. As I said, I have recorded this footage in advance. So as you can see here, he does go for 1,075k is the lowest at the moment. If I refresh this, I'll see what he's actually going for. He's going for about that price anyway, so about just over 1 mil mark. And at that point in this game, is that worth it? Well, don't know, especially with the team of the year coming out. A lot of these icons have dropped horrendously. I was I had a Maldini for another play review I was going to do, and I lost about 300k on him, not including tax, so I lost a chunk. So this is Garicha. We're going straight into the gameplay, and I'll let you guys know at the end whether or not I believe that he is worth the coins he goes for. I know that there's many other choices on the right side, but uh, this guy, especially being a new icon in the game, is, uh, is sought after by quite a lot of people to try out. But yeah, let's get into the gameplay. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and remember, comment down below who you'll use from the team of the year to be featured in my video over there. Let's... Ladies and gentlemen, as we hop into this first clip, you're going to see Gorincha do what Gorincha does, and that is just pick up goal scoring positions and finish the ball incredibly well. And as you can see there, as I played that ball inside, he made that run across the defender, getting into the open space that was available in the box and finishing it on his weaker side. I scored a lot of goals with his left foot for some reason, even though he's only got four star weak foot. I kept scoring goals with his left foot, and you'll see that that, that was the first one. I think this is another one as well. I do some great skill run here with a double McGeady spin, turning the defender inside out with a Robonna fake. Jesus Christ, I started like hell there but they go another left foot finish near post again and that's why i said you can play this guy on the left and finesse it with his right into the top right corner or you can play him on the right and, and bang it near post with his left foot <clears throat> it almost always goes in and it, he just was outstanding in front of god i'm not gonna lie to you guys but he was great to play in a counter-attacking team because as you can see that as soon as i pick it up in the midfield he starts to run forward and once you play a one two he doesn't really get caught by many people because he's got that pace on him and you can see here i pull down the wing I absolutely do that defender and then I bring it onto his left foot and look smash that into the roof of it. No keeper in the world is saving that. That was absolutely outstanding from him. And I, f I thoroughly enjoyed him. I'm not going to lie. I mean, the only person I can really compare him to is like similar to a Messi style player. He felt very similar to when you use Messi coming off that right side. 
Um, personally, for me though, I feel like Messi is just the best right mid choice you can use this year. Even though many people don't play him at right mid, I mean, as a striker or as a cam, Messi's card this year is outstanding. And if you want to play this guy with Messi, maybe like opposite each other, I feel like that would be a great combination because they're both out and out goal scorers. They both make incredible attacking runs. And you just know once they're in front of that goal, they will finish the ball for you. And he, he just keeps showing that. And on his left foot or his right foot, his finishing was outstanding. I'm sure that if you get his prime card there, as he picks up the man of the match with four goals in that game, um, if you get his prime card, his prime card will be absolutely ridiculous. And look at that, another fl look at that little flip flap in there just to end it off. Lovely. So moving to this next clip, you're going to see Gorincha give it into Barnes. Barnes giving it back to Gorincha. Gorincha with eight big fake shot and finishing that pass to keeper i don't know actually what you call that fake shot it's kind of like an uh what's the word kind of like a exaggerated uh fin um <clears throat> skill like an um, exaggerated fake shot in a sense just to pull past the defender it gives you a bit more pace to pull past them this goal was absolutely ridiculous look at the skill moves here flip flap into that gap bring it back straight through the other gap and bang that into against the uh far post there and he his dribbling was brilliant i mean uh, if you could have a Brazilian team with this prime Gorincha and like prime Ronaldinho on the left side and then a prime R9 up front, then that's probably one of the best front three. That is probably the best front three you'll get this year. Yeah, I, I, ho I'm, I really hope the prime Gorincha is better than this one just because I, f I want him to be more worth the coins in a sense. <clears throat> and the prime one is definitely looks a lot more tasty to me in a sense. And the, even I've used the baby one of this card this year at the start of the game and he was brilliant as well so i feel like gorincha is probably one of the best choices you can get this year when it comes to right-sided players and as you saw there lobbing the ball up a couple of times you do that by flicking down the right analog stick a few times and choosing the direction you want to do it in with the left analog stick and it's quite a power because people don't really know how to defend against it as i pull the ball here oh my god that skill that is like the oh what's it called the i don't know what it's called i always forget what it's called the oh i don't know it's like a hill to hill flick, but it puts the ball behind you. It's like a hill to hill chop in a sense. And not many people know how to defend that against that. It's like L2 and you flick the analog stick left or right or right and left, depending on which way you want to do it. Very overpowered this year. That was disgusting. That was absolutely disgusting. I think I actually not make that defender if I'm not wrong. And I think I did. I want to watch that replay. Does Raphael, oh, he doesn't show it. I think I not make that defender and then I not make the goalkeeper with that. And that was disgusting, man. I scored a couple of good skill goals with this guy. His dribbling just felt so good. The ball just stuck to his foot. Like, look at this. Look, the defender got taken out of the game completely. And he gets the assist there with Wijnaldum finishing that. It, that was a great finish, to be fair. From a centre mid, I didn't expect him to put that right into that bomb corner like that. That was outstanding. Uh, Wijnaldum's another player I'd love to see. If he doesn't get a team of the year, a team of the season. Like, that Wijnaldum, if Wijnaldum gets a 90-plus card in this game, he's going to be ridiculous. He's very similar to a Kante, except he has better shooting. I don't know what this guy was doing. He just stopped playing. Put it on Gorincha, and you know Gorincha's not going to miss from there. Uh, the Gorincha just didn't stop scoring. I mean, you saw him get an assist there as well, but he just didn't stop scoring. He, he's great to play off the striker as well. Uh, I recommend, like, if you play, or if you play, like, a 4-4-2, which is quite a meta formation this year, he's brilliant. Like, he's just got them snapshots. Like, look at that. Out. So that was just disgusting. And that's meant to be his weak foot, and he smashed it like that. Yeah, if you play him off a striker, he's probably one of his best positions. I don't really recommend him as a winger, but, yeah, we're going to get back into me actually talking now. Let's go. Right guys, so the question is for this series is, is this Gorincha worth it? And as you can see from the gameplay there, he did some exquisite things from that right side, even picking up different positions on the pitch along the front four in a sense, behind the striker in the striker position on both wings. He tended to drift around a bit, which I really like in players because that means that you always have someone in the right position to attack. I did, I do use the uh, cut the tactic to swap wings every now as, as well, just so that he can come on the left side or the right side. And with him being uh, right foot on the right side, he can come in from the left side and finesse into the upper corner or you can play him from the right side and just drill it near post which is the most overpowered thing this year but as you saw from the gameplay there he did score a few goals and he got a few assists and I, it kind of in a sense kind of justifies his card but is it worth over a million coins at this point in fifa and i'm gonna go out on a limb here and i'm gonna say in today's is he worth it episode i do not believe that this garincha card is worth over a million coins especially in this stage of fifa with team of the year arriving tomorrow and there being so many right-sided players that you can go for. I mean, for example, I, don't, I feel like the gold Messi, I would take over this Garincha card personally. And that's just how I feel. I enjoy playing Mbappe and Neymar on, on the left cam and right cam positions. I feel like there's so many bad choices you can have nowadays to this Garincha card. So in my opinion, unless you really enjoy Garincha, there's not really that 
point spending over a million coins when you can go out and get someone a bit better in that position like I, like i said messi's gold card does better than this card does so save your coins or if i don't know how much messi currently goes for but i feel like messi would be a better option to this card now i'm not saying he's terrible but i just wouldn't i wouldn't say go spend a million coins so for like i said today's episode i'm gonna say he's not worth it you're gonna see a big red x on the screen because he's not worth it today's episode it feels great to be back i hope you guys have enjoyed I will be uploading regularly once again because today would be Monday's episode. Tomorrow I'll have another one I know that like we went back to before Monday to Friday. And I will also be doing a few public videos. I'll actually be shoot I'll actually be shooting my first one tomorrow. It's gonna be a very funny video. I'll definitely have some funny edits in there for you guys. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Something different. Maybe bring a new audience, maybe see show you guys a bit more of my personality in a video. But yeah, that'll be cool. This has been Gorincha. Today I'm gonna say he is not worth it. I don't actually know how you pronounce it, I've probably said it wrong this whole video, but anyway, make sure you leave a thumbs up. You comment down below who you want from that team of the year squad to put into your team or from a pack. And you subscribe if you're new around here. It's been your boy Zach and I am out of here. Peace.